Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at voice dictation or voice typing on Windows 11. And it's doing a pretty good job of it so far. Hang on, we'll be right back. So with the upgrade to Windows 11, the voice dictation feature on Windows has also gotten a huge upgrade. Uh, I've mentioned it before, voice dictation or voice typing on Windows 10 was pretty bad. Uh, in my own personal opinion, it was pretty much unusable. But one of the things that they improved with Windows 11 is the voice typing, and they definitely did. It's actually really, really good. So first things first, how do you launch voice typing? Well, if you bring up the virtual keyboard on your screen, then there will be a little microphone button on there. You can use that, but there's also a quick and easy keyboard shortcut. It's the same shortcut that we had on Windows 10. It's the Windows key and H. H for microphone, right? <laughs> I don't know why H, but it's just H. Windows key H. That launches the microphone and now it is listening to everything I say and writing it out pretty well. New line. Now, let's take a look at how it works. When you first launch voice typing, you've got to go through some a little bit of a setup and it gives you some tips and hints and things like that. However, when it's all said and done, you get this little control panel that pops up. With three options, you have settings, you have the microphone, and then you have more help. If I go into settings, there's a couple things we can do. The first one is we can set up a voice typing launcher. So this is kind of cool, uh, could be very helpful. What it does is anytime you click into a text field, this little control launcher box, voice typing control panel window, whatever you wanna call it, will automatically pop up and you can just use it. Now, in my testing, it works just like it's supposed to, although it doesn't seem, there are certain areas where it doesn't pop up. Uh, for example, if I was going to rename one of these folders or these shortcuts over here on my desktop, it doesn't pop up then. I don't know, maybe they will fix that in the future. For me, it's just easier to use the keyboard shortcut Windows H. You can also enable or disable the auto punctuation. And this is one of the big updates that's really pretty cool most of the time. A little bit of a caveat, it kind of depends on how you interact with it of, of how well it works. All right, let's do another test. This is a test. This is only a test. Let's see if the auto punctuation will perform the way I would like it to and how well it does. What do you think? Is it working correctly? It makes me very excited. So it got everything correct as far as the text. I mean, it, it understood what I said and wrote out everything perfectly. However, the auto punctuation, especially with the way I talk, um, sometimes doesn't work correctly. So sometimes when I'm dictating a sentence, I will pause in the middle of the sentence and kind of gather my thoughts and okay, how do I want to finish this sentence off? And when the auto punctuation feature hears that pause, it just throws in a period, usually a period, uh, and then capitalizes the next word like it did right here where it says the auto punctuation period will perform the way so that was all still one sentence, but because I paused, it thought I was done and put a period in there. The other thing is I haven't been able to get it to uh, put in an exclamation point in the right spot. Maybe I'm not doing the inflection in my voice. Let's try that. I'm so excited. Nah, period. <laughs> Still gave me a period. So in some situations, um, it's putting in punctuation where it's not supposed to have it uh, or not putting in the correct one. Uh, still, with that being said, I think it's doing a fantastic job 
regardless. If you kind of take that into consideration, okay, I can't really pause during my sentence, then the punctuation works really, really well. And also if I need to throw in an exclamation mark, I just need to say exclamation mark or exclamation point. So that is why I tend to turn off auto punctuation. I don't have it turned on on any of my other devices. I, I dictate the punctuation on everything else. So it's not a big deal for me to do that here as well. Mary had a little lamb, comma, its fleece was white as snow, period. And everywhere that Mary went, comma, the lamb was sure to go. New paragraph. How did you like my poem? Question mark. I totally just came up with that right off the top of my head, period. I'm so talented, exclamation mark. So there you go. It got that perfectly. And because I was dictating the punctuation, the punctuation is all correct as well. Okay. Just so you guys can see the auto launcher, um, I've turned that on. And now when I'm clicked outside of this document here, this text document, the launcher is not visible, but as soon as I click inside the document, the launcher pops up and I can use the voice typing right away. But okay guys, so there you go. That was a look at the voice dictation or the voice typing on Windows 11. Greatly improved over Windows 10, much more pleasant experience. I will definitely be using this more often and this could totally be a replacement for the Dragon voice dictation software that I use on my other computer. Okay guys, if you have any questions for me about this Windows 11 or anything AT, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out. If you liked the video, you found it helpful, as always, help out the channel by giving it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to The Blind Life where I put out a new video on blindness and low vision, assistive technology, advocacy, accessibility, all of that awesomeness every single Saturday and hit the bell so you'll always be alerted whenever those videos come out. That's it guys, Sam from The Blind Life. Thanks, see you later.